Okay, I'm upset. Why does my toaster only have a 24 inch cord? I don't know, I'm sure there's a reason. We'll talk about it in just a second. Hi everybody, Dave Yelovic with Homes Built Right. Welcome back. Um, today we're gonna take a look at the simple rules for outlets in a kitchen. There are some rules that people fight with and uh, they come up occasionally on inspection because somebody has forgotten some of these basic rules. The National Electric Code says the kitchen outlets that are here in a kitchen shall be served by a minimum of two circuits, which means you'll have two breakers on your panel for kitchen countertop outlets. So they shall be ground fault circuit interrupter protected, GFCI protected. Um, those are the ones with the buttons. So uh, the GFCI reset buttons could be here on your outlet itself here in the wall, or the reset could be on the panel at the breaker itself. So you may have to go over there to reset your GFI. So simple rules, two outlets, GFCI protected. And then we talk about how or where do these outlets go? The code actually says I can put my outlets in the countertop itself. They make outlets that if I push on it, it pops up out of the countertop and I could plug things in that way. Those are subject to the rules on spacing that we're about to cover, but they're kind of cool. Under no circumstance can you have a countertop outlet that's just simply a regular receptacle stuck face up where I can plug in like this. That, that's no way in the code is that acceptable. Uh, I've seen them every now and then though. So pop-ups are allowed. Now, usually most of our outlets are gonna be here in the wall, in the backsplash. So the code says anywhere from the cabinet countertop itself, up to a point 20 inches above this countertop, I can have outlets, okay? So anywhere from right here at the base, all the way up, maybe in the midpoint, or up to 20 inches. So pretty simple, they can be vertical, they can be horizontal, uh, doesn't matter, they can be different colors, but um, that's where they can go in the backsplash, up to 20 inches. So then we talk about the two foot, four foot rule. Uh, it's a very simple thing in the code, they say no countertop outlet, can exceed four feet spacing between them. So if I have a countertop from outlet to outlet, I can not exceed four feet. That's where the tease with the toaster came in. Ah, the toaster, my favorite Keurig machine, the blender, the margarita machine, whatever. Everything seems to have a 24 inch cord because people or the manufacturer knows the code says no more than 24 inches because Maximum spacing four feet on center. I cannot at any point along that countertop go more than two feet before I can plug in an appliance. That's the two foot, four foot rule. So it's pretty simple. And we measure along the wall. In this case, I set up here in a corner because everything is measured along the wall. So from this outlet here, along here into the corner and over here to the, where the toaster is plugged in, can't exceed four feet measured along the wall. In this case, it's three feet, eight inches. I measured it, trust me, it works. So pretty simple rules. So I think that covers most of them. It's uh, GFCI protected, two circuits, anywhere from the countertop up to 20 inches. It could be a pop-up on the countertop itself, no more than four feet on center. And uh, I think you're covered. That covers the rules of outlets in the kitchen backsplash. I uh, hope you like this video. Uh, it's, like the video there on your uh, screen, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel if you like. And in uh, upcoming videos, we're gonna cover a lot of the National Electric Code. The 2020 is the latest edition and there's lots of things in there we're gonna cover. And uh, we'll cover more about just home building and things that you'll see in modern homes nowadays. So Dave Yelovic with Homes Built Right. We'll see you next time.